When you blow into a whistle, part of the airstream exits the slot in a swirling motion, generating sound. The rest of the airstream travels through the whistle chamber, then exits the slot, reinforcing the sound. The little ball whirling inside puts the trill in the whistle blast. Quality whistles are made of solid brass because nothing beats its resonance. Production begins with a narrow brass sheet, not quite a millimeter thick. A punch press slices through the sheet, cutting a square connected to two circles. The factory calls these pieces the Mickey Mouse ears. One by one, they go into a second press that folds the circles inward to form the sides of the whistle's barrel and bends the edges of the square inward to form the top and sides of the mouthpiece. At the same time, it strikes the mouthpiece against a die that embosses the company logo into the metal. Another brass sheet feeds a third press. This machine punches out and partially shapes the part that forms the rest of the whistle. It notches the tapered end, which will be the underside of the mouthpiece, giving your teeth something to grip. Now, a fourth press finishes shaping these pieces. It bends the other end into a circle to form the barrel. The two main parts of the whistle are now ready. A worker snaps them together with pliers. Note that on the bottom piece, the barrel stops short of meeting the top of the mouthpiece. This creates the whistle's air slot. This press cuts and folds a brass sheet into the third and final part of the whistle, called the tip. It's a piece on the back that holds a ring for hanging the whistle. The tips go into a bowl feeder. The vibration orients them in the same direction, so that a robotic arm can pick them up and put them in a holder. Tin and silver solder is applied to each tip. This will bond it to the whistle. To fuse all the parts together, solder is applied in six different spots. The solder liquefies as a gas flame heats it to about 600 degrees Celsius. It flows around all the seams, filling them in a matter of seconds. A blast of cold air solidifies the solder. Even then, it's still steaming as the whistles come off the machine. The ball that goes inside the barrel is about a centimeter in diameter and made of synthetic cork which doesn't absorb moisture, so the ball never gets soggy and stuck. A worker holds each whistle, now plated with nickel, against the insertion machine. The device works like these pliers, squeezing a ball through the whistle's air slot. With one side of the barrel cut away, you can see how the ball regains its shape as soon as it clears the slot. The last step is to hook a steel ring onto each tip. The factory packages its whistles with a nylon cord called a lanyard. A hook on one end attaches to the whistle's ring. Another accessory in the package is a rubber cover for the mouthpiece. It makes holding the whistle in your mouth for a long time more comfortable. This factory also makes customized whistles. You can order them with your own logo, or to really blow someone away, you can present them with a 24-karat gold-plated award whistle.